Friday nights are generally reserved for anything that goes on under the lights on a high school football field. But for Fields of Faith, it is Wednesday night lights. And for Anawan High School FCA huddle coach Jill Huber, nights like these are just part of what enriches her life about being involved with FCA. It didn't take me too long once I saw the kids coming in. I knew I had to do it and I didn't have a choice. So I knew that this was going to go really far and I just had to take that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it's enriched your life and how you think it's uh, FCA is evolving in Anawan to, to get to where it's been now, you know? Um, I will tell everyone and anyone that Wednesdays are what I live for. So I used to live for Fridays because that was the, week, the work week was done. I got to be with my kids and my family. And now it's like if I can get to Wednesday morning, I know I can make it through another week. So mm -hmm. um, and I think that my co huddle coaches will testify to that as well. And the kids too. like Wednesdays are just what we're all about here. Mm -hmm. Tell me what makes it so fruitful and why you think kids keep coming back. You think? Well, they'll say the food, <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, honestly, we have a great group of huddle leaders that every week show up and show them that we are the role models that they need in their lives. And um, the kids keep coming back too. And they look at 30 plus kids every week that show up to fill a room and they are proud to say that they're Christians now. They're not scared anymore. Mm -hmm. So um, I think all of that factors in. Mm -hmm. How much of a need was there for that, for kids to be really confessional about their faith? Well, I think our need is a lot different than anybody else's because ours started from a tragedy. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's probably why it's grown so much and not just the start of Emmy, but we've hit quite a few bumps in the road in the last three years where Wednesday mornings mean so much to everyone because if we didn't have our faith, we wouldn't make it. Well, we're such a close-knit community and everything, and then I feel like just the way our community raises our kids, you know, our parents take us to church every Sunday, and I, we've had a lot of, like, hard things thrown our way, and it's just, it's nice to see kids relying more on FCA and their um, relationship with Christ rather than going to alternative solutions. So, mm -hmm. You know, when you can do that on a Wednesday morning at school, I mean, what element does that bring? Yeah, you know? it's nice. Um, Especially Ann one, everybody's so supportive of us. Um, a lot of kids, they don't want to get out of bed on Wednesday morning, otherwise they say they'd be there. But um, it's nice because I know in a lot of other places this isn't something that's acceptable. And so it's great being able to just, you know, hang out with peers and that you know they share the same faith as you. So. Mm -hmm. well, what about Mrs. Huber? You know, how have you, uh, you've had a, a bird's eye view of how she's yeah. grown as a huddle coach and stuff and what makes her effective and have you seen her grow, you know, in her faith? Yeah, because um, when we first started she kind of was a little, she didn't know really what she was doing and she was a little iffy mm -hmm. on doing certain things and just talking about it and um, she's become more and more open about it and it's nice because we have her as an English teacher so yeah. we can now can go to her for other problems besides that and like at homecoming they said if we get in any situation we can call them and it's nice to know that we have that support coming from all sorts of directions and mm -hmm. stuff. When you see her opening up uh, uh, an FCA devotional or Bible or something like that too I mean what happens to her you know uh, and she's prepared and uh, she's got you guys in mind she's got your back you know yeah. and she wants to communicate the truth to you. Yeah she definitely has She's made a huge impact, I know, on a lot of kids, and um, especially some of like the kids who never really had exposure to anything, and she definitely helps them become more aware of everything. The food's great. <laughs> it's awesome to have food in the morning and then have a good talk right before school. It just sets your day off perfect. Mm -hmm. What would be your encouragement to, to that kid that's out there that's not going? You know? To go because it's a great time. You get free food <laughs> and you get to have a great talk before school. Mm -hmm. Well, what about Mrs. Huber? I mean, uh, you know, two, two years ago, she's like, I'm not the one. And now, two years later, she's the one, isn't she? What, yeah. what makes her uh, so great at what she does as a huddle coach? Uh, she's a great lady. She's very nice. And she's very faithful. She keeps everybody positive and just, just a nice person. Mm -hmm. Have you seen her faith kind of grow yourself, you know, like the how comfortable she is in front of you sharing Christ? Yeah, she's come a long ways. I mean, she's tried to set this whole thing up and made a big thing in Anna One and just made it grow. Jill's relationship with Jesus Christ has grown as FCA has grown here in Anawan, Illinois. She says the relationships built with all these students is very special, especially when she knows that they are praying for her through some of her difficult times. This is where I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 
they have made such an impact on me and my kids that you know they love my kids just as much as I do I think sometimes especially those boys um, those big boys as my three-year-old calls them his big boys um, yeah I don't even know they they have I know that they pray for me you know they tell me and they do it every Wednesday and they pray for the baby and you know when the kids came in and gave me a prayer chain for my baby that they called and you know we know our baby's going to the NICU and this mm. chain can go in there, you know, around mm -hmm. his crib. Mm. Yeah, that it's so impactful and it just fills my heart. <laughs> well, and, and so many times people just uh, um, just matter of factly say, I'm praying for you. And you know, they're not. You know, how, what about that sincere sincerity that's there with these guys? Yeah. Because you have this strong personal relationship that you've built on Wednesday mornings. Yeah, I, I know that they're praying because I watch them and I, I see them care for me. And I, like you said, a lot of people say, oh, we're praying for you. And you know that, you know, they might think about it sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I know these kids, at least every Wednesday morning and on the days that I'm gone, are truly worried you know for me and the baby and you can tell that it's it's honest so we made a prayer chain for her the other day and we went and gave it to her and she started crying and it's just it's so sweet knowing that you know we have each other's backs and everything mm -hmm. do you kind of value others differently now too and, it, and even like that you get to be so involved in her life you know she's having babies she's you guys were probably one of the first uh, people she told you know stuff yeah. like that yeah, she told us, I remember she told us last year at one of our last FCAs of the year. And it was funny because her husband's a math teacher and it had a picture of them and their other two kids and said two plus two equals five. And we're like, your <laughs> husband's a math teacher. Like, this does not work. And then we all realized what she was saying and it was it was a good day. We were all so excited. Are you shocked at all how far FCA has come, not only in the school, but maybe the community? Everybody kind of knows about it and everything, you know? I am a little shocked, I guess I would say. I'm kind of both because... We didn't think it would ever get this far. We never mm -hmm. thought we would have over 30 kids every single Wednesday, mm -hmm. you know, packed into a room. I never thought we would have to order more Bibles because we were out. Mm -hmm. But um, but now I see, you know, we have a lot of people on our side in heaven. And so it's, we know that that's why. So mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm shocked a little bit to see those numbers every week and to think about having to move rooms because <laughs> mine's too, too small. Um, but they just keep coming back. You know, there's a lot of schools who are on the cusp of starting FCA, you know, and there's a lot of teachers and coaches who are like, nah, I'm not the one. What would be your encouragement and challenge to them to say this can really affect your school in a great yeah, way? Yeah, they need to take it over because it's a great thing. It does great things in your school. People stay positive and have faithful things and just help you with your life to get in touch with God. Are you ready to become an FCA huddle coach at your high school, middle school, or college? It will enrich your life and make an eternal difference for someone else's. For more information on FCA, you can go to our two websites at www.fca.org or illawafca.org.